Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with some more NTW3 today and today we are at the Battle of Aspern Essling in 1809 between the French and the Austrians. We have the French here with their German allies, we have the, uh, the Confederation of the Rhine and they are facing off against four Austrian armies. We have two French armies and two Confederation of the Rhine armies and uh, yeah this is going to be an epic one. I've been told that it's a really really close run thing so this is going to be a really nice historical battle. In history, this was actually a Austrian victory. Napoleon was defeated here by the Austrians. Uh, more tactically than I think, like, uh, definitely he's, like, the Austrians basically um, hold all the key positions at the end of the battle and uh, and they're able to withdraw. I believe that's the more, like, the tactical than they actually out, like, beat Napoleon in the field. You can see there's actually going to be some French cavalry, some dragoons here. They're going to go straight in onto the Chevalier unit here. It's a huge uh, seven, like, 80-man unit. And these French dragoons are going to go straight in. It's just going to get killed here. Don't know if that was really the smartest idea. You can see we've got some carabineers going in here. They're going against some chevaliers as well. These carabineers are some of the finest cavalry the French have to offer. So it'll be interesting to see what they can do. And they've routed the Austrians just like that. So uh, that is a big worry there for the Austrians. That, that, that unit's on the battlefield, certainly. This, uh, uh, this uh, carabineer unit is a very nasty unit to be facing. You can see that the Austrians bringing over even more chevaliers and dragoons over here. Trying to deal with these hussars. Um, but they're obviously going to then run into more French cavalry here, so they may be about to go into battle yet. More cavalry down here, getting battle hussars, got dragoons, chevaliers, all sorts in here for, uh, for the rush, uh, for the, uh, not for the rush, for the Austrians. I do apologize. You can see those are French again, they're carabineers. They actually lost a lot of troops that time. Uh, they lost about 30 in that fight. You can see the uh, hussars for the, uh, the Confederation of the Rhine coming in. They're routing a lot of these uh, Austrian uh, cavalry early doors. The uh, Austrian, uh, the French. And the Austrians here losing, a, uh, trading a lot of cavalry early game, and you can see the look at all this cavalry just moving around like ants on the battlefield. But if you're enjoying seeing NTW3 on the channel at the moment and like to see some more, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe from you around here, and a comment to show your support. Always appreciated. You see this carabineer still in here. It's broken now. It's finally broken. At Thirty odd minutes, probably pretty beaten up. But even more stuff in here. The Karassi is coming in, all sorts. And also, if you want to uh, send in your own uh, replays of NTW3, then join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. And, uh, yeah, you can send in your own replays, which I'll then feature on the channel, or you can get involved in some NTW3 uh, battles. I'm wanting to do some more. I'm wanting to get uh, some more organized on the uh, like on the Discord. So if you want to join, then I'd certainly recommend doing so. As you can say, it uh, looks like the Allies, or the French, that is, have taken a building over there. But we'll quickly go back over to the cavalry fight. Oh! I thought that might happen. We'll just go merge through the uh, through the floor. But there you go. You can see the uh, fight going on here. They get actually now got like a bit of a duel going on between Karassis of both sides here. It looks like the Austrians are going to win this fight uh, in cavalry like terms anyway. Doesn't mean anything about the rest of the fight though. You can see uh, Suchet's up here though. That's the general. Gotta be careful about him just coming up. Just this general bodyguard just chilling a little bit too close to the battle. This French cavalry, this Karassis here might be able to take a few of these other ones out. Who knows? The Austrians are going to send in another unit here, going to try and route this unit of, uh, what's this, Chasseurs de Cheval here. Our men are running, sir. They might break that, they might break this one as well, might the, uh, might the Austrians, I don't know, it's going to be close. They still have a lot of cavalry to the Austrians, look at all this cavalry, a lot of Carassias, uh, Dragoons, all sorts. You can see the infantry now is coming down from the, uh, well, from its, uh, their positions, you can see their infantry is not great. That is the thing. The uh, French infantry will probably beat any Austrian infantry pretty easily. The Karassi is there breaking the 128-man unit. Reduced to 40 men. I can hear some musket fire going off. It's got some grenadiers that are going to occupy this building here. I thought I could hear musket fire, but maybe not. Oh, I think I can just hear the building. Oh, yeah, it's just this building here. They actually are firing at those carabineers as they uh, run back. Gunning a few of them down. But yeah, that's kind of like the first little interlude in the uh, in the battle, I guess. And like, we're gonna have a little bit of a break now, it would seem. Everyone's calming down. They've stopped charging the cavalry. I mean, apart from this one, this uh, Cheshire Cheval is still in here. He's just breaking now. Look at all the cavalry dead. Like all the corpses. So many. So many. Yeah, and the Austrians are still a fairly healthy amount of cavalry here. I mean, I imagine the French. Yeah, the French still have cavalry all the way on this flank. They have a lot on this flank, actually. A lot of like Chevaliers. What they got here? They got some hussars. Got some Karassias here, 128. More Dragoons. And they have more uh, cavalry here, though, do the uh, Austrians. So, I mean, they're not short of cavalry either. The Confederation of the Rhine has a fair amount of cavalry as well. They've got guards. Guard de corps. 
They must be pretty good. They got their own hussars and stuff. So, I mean, there's still a fair amount of cavalry for both sides. Um, I think the French are a little bit short on this side for cavalry. They've got a unit all the way over there of hussars. Might want to bring that one back into the fort. Bring it in to defend this uh, French army. That's already forcing itself to uh, be falling back because I think because of the cavalry. They don't want to contest this, uh, this village. And this is Essling over here. We looks like the uh, French are well and truly entrenched in Aspern. Um, but they are not going to be able to take Essling. That will be the Austrians that uh, are going to be taking that for themselves. But yeah, I'd like to just also thank you guys for all the support recently. It's been, like, unprecedented. Uh, we all support, like, the uh, Let's Plays and the uh, and battles. We are slowly working on that 3,000 uh, mark. That's what I want to try and get to. I'm sure we can get there before the end of 2021. It'd be really great. You can see this grassy unit here that's uh, wavering because they're getting chased down. They're running away. And they're actually uh, going to break because of that. They've got a Dragoon unit here breaking as well. Big win here for the French if they can take out a few more of these cavalry units. Got Dragoons coming over. Uh, I don't know why they don't just send in, yeah, these Hussars. Just send these Hussars to go and deal with these Dragoons. Hold them in place. There you go. They're dealt with. They'll run down a lot of those Dragoons, I imagine. Yeah, and then you can see this uh, August the Kalinkor Karasi unit sitting around. But this Karasi here, and no, this Dragoon, sorry. Dragoons here being broken. That's a real shame. Yeah, the French being used today, obviously, are the 1809 to 12 uh, French. As they would be, and the uh, Austrians being used today are the 1809 ones. I mean, you got it. If the battle's based in 1809, you've got to use the 1809 units. Kalanko looks like he's going to send forward his cavalry here, try and route these uh, these German line infantry. I thought that was going to be them. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's not going to try and route these guys. I mean, I'd definitely try. This is three units of infantry can get off the battlefield. They're fighting for their emperor. I get this cavalry unit back. It's very expensive, very useful. I don't think they'll be all this cavalry here. But the French are going to send their hussars back in. They're going to try and route these grasses in here. 66. No, no, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. They're getting charged just now. Hmm. That's going to be a close one, I think. Oh, again. I need to just be careful doing that. You can see the, uh... What we got here? We've got the Carl Legion. These look cool. They look really nice. And they're all uh, flanking around in this forest. They're trying to flank the French here. Um, the French taking another building, another one in Aspen here. This is actually the uh, Confederation of the Rhine just taking one of them. And uh, they're actually forcing uh, forcing the Austrians back from Aspen. There is a big gathering of Austrians though, around here. Look at all this infantry that's setting up. Lots of uh, German infantry all setting up, ready to go in. Try and take this village back. It's awesome, these units. Again, they, their helmets remind me of, like firemen. Look, we just quickly have a look at them. I don't know why. They don't even look like firemen's helmets, but I don't know why. They just sort of do. But yeah, you can see that the uh, Confederation Rhine has a decent amount of troops still here. He needs to bring up the re remains of his reserve, I'd say. What's he got back here? He's got his guns, actually, all the way back here. And what's this? His general. I'd bring these guns up, get this 12-pounder up, get it to a, a decent like distance. They're going to need it to help support against this huge mass of infantry. French over here. I don't know whether the French need to have... This looks like it might be one Austrian army, and they look like they're 2v1-ing it with this uh, French and uh, Confederation of the Rhine. While this Confederation of the Rhine looks like it might be 2v1-ing an Austrian here, and the French army over on this flank seems very spread out. But he's... Uh, it looks like he's making a gap here with his uh, light infantry. Could be getting a bit of a flank going on here. This could be really good. But they need to be careful with supporting that with the cavalry, because they could otherwise just get sniped out by cavalry themselves. Look at these units. This is awesome. What's this unit here? It's like another like unique line infantry unit. Uh, John something. Oh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. But it looks really cool. I know some people don't really like the graphics for Napoleon. I think they've done an okay job. Like for I know Napoleon's not got the greatest graphics, but I think NTW3 does a decent job sorting its graphics out. And it's I I enjoy uh, zooming in on the units sometimes. I like looking at some of the interesting uniforms. Uh, what we've got here, we've got some Volta Gears, they're uh, setting up. Got some uh, light infantry. They need to keep those, uh, they need to stop firing these Volta Gears if we're going to set up these light infantry. We've got the, uh, I think this is the Karl's Legion over here, or it was, the Karl's Legion was over here. Oh, it's these big units of um, Grenze, Grenze infantry. These guys have terrible morale. I will not be surprised if they break pretty quickly. They've got like so many men in a unit, but they've got like terrible morale. Look at the officer, he's ready. He's pumped, you can see him. Oh, the general's under attack. Um, I don't know where that would be happening. So 
that just there, maybe? So Chet's being shot at. But look how close these guys are getting. These light infantry just focusing down these, uh, like, Grenzer infantry. They're just firing across the, uh, across the battlefield at the, uh, their counterpart to light infantry. I'm pretty sure Grenzer's are supposed to be like light infantry. I mean, yeah, look at this. Grenadiers coming in, though. Grenadiers to the line, coming in by the French. They're going to come straight in. Oh, it disappeared in the last second. And then they go. And they might rout those Grenzers. Looks like they're going to push forward with the rest of their infantry. Look at this. You've got the uh, Confederation Ryan flanking hard with his army, his entire army. He's going to try and flank and push them out of es uh, Essling, by the looks of it. We'll try and push them out of this flank a bit. Yeah, they are going to break that Grenzer unit, you imagine. We've got more light infantry here. So this unit needs to be careful. They could get flanked pretty hard by the Grenzers. Well, it's not Grenzers, it's um, Hungarians. I think this is Hungarian infantry here. I could be wrong. But yeah, they could get flanked quite hard if they're not careful. Looks like what might be about to happen. Over on the far flank, what's happening there? Okay, we've got the French again also starting some sort of movement here. You can see the cavalry, they're bringing from some Chevaleggers. They're going to try and go for the guns. They are going to try and stop them, though, are the Austrians with that uh, German infantry. They're not going to be quick enough. And they're going to take out this gun. This is a 10-pounder uh, they're going to try and take out. Oh, and they just fired, friendly fired into cavalry. Oh, my gosh, look at the friendly fire they're doing on these Crassiers. I think that's a huge win for the French. They've just wiped out that uh, gun. And they've also forced like this uh, other 10 pounder here just to shoot its own cavalry. It's a big loss. Um, they need to bring up their own cavalry. Get a bit closer to the fight. Even if it's just like set up here. Just to threaten this Dragoon. They need to also set up infantry like here. Like the French again really push forward. They like they're possibly pushing forward a bit too like disjointed. They need to be careful of that. Back over on this side. Essling. Um, well it looks like the French are going full on in. Fighting over this wall. See the Austrians set up here, ready. Firing off. I mean, you need to be careful as well with the French here. They're just shooting to the back of their own men who have been fighting in combat bravely. You need to hold fire. They're sending in more of their grenadiers, like their grenadiers in, chasing down any units. They are de definitely doing a lot of damage to these guys. Well, they just broke more uh, German infantry. Again, these guys are trying to set up. They're trying to get a lot of, uh, like, they're going to try and set up and try and defend some of these streets. But they're getting charged down by this Grenadier unit. Getting so many kills. And they're getting overwhelmed. The French just know they can fight better in melee. They have the better morale. They have better morale and they're going to try and win this. What we've got here, we've got a, just a French cavalry unit just chilling here. Got French cavalry you're just ch chilling it. I mean, this is nasty. This is painful to see. This uh, square here being shot by Swiss infantry, and then by a, I think this is by a four pounder as well, also firing this blob. Uh, it's trying to fall back. Yeah, you can see this four pounder here uh, trying to shoot into this big blob and stuff. I mean, they're getting shot so hard. French shooting really well around e uh, Essling right now. The support of the uh, Confederation of the Rhine as well, really forcing them out of the village. Are taking some losses. They are losing some light infantry. They're possibly a little bit short uh, in the center here. Like the Austrians could make a push here, split this army in two. I think the Austrians have to use uh, the advantage of their cavalry on that flank. Try and do some work. Uh, they lost this cavalry here though. And Ullum, what did it try to take out? I don't know. Did it try to go for, ca uh, for infantry? I think it did. I think it tried to go for this light infantry. It did not succeed. Got a lot of infantry here, though. But we've got to remember that the Austrian infantry is not great. I was just witnessing in Essling. A lot of it breaking. Um, but, I mean, the Austrians here could make a push, divide the French and the uh, Confederation of the Rhine armies. I know there is this uh, Confederation, Confederation of the Rhine um, cavalry here. I may just refer to them as German. It may just be the easiest thing to do. This German cavalry here is obviously defending it. But if they put some of their cavalry in the center, and then they could just support the infantry push, I think they've got a good chance of splitting these two armies in two. And then... Then the French and the uh, Confederation and Ryan possibly have to retreat, reform their lines. Because right now, it's all French on this flank, certainly. French and German, I should say. Look at these guys. These guys are cool. These are like some line infantry here. Love the helmets. 
What are they pushing forward now? More lion from tree. Coming forward. These guys are not going to hold this. Grenadier in, uh, infantry will not hold. The French making pushes in here. What's this? This is going to be their grenadier unit. No, it's their uh, lion infantry. It's charging in. What a bold play. Look at this banner guy. He's just taking kills. Killing them all. As many as he can anyway. And they're now trying to flank here. They might want to just send these units in. This is uh, Claude Saint uh, Cryer. I'm pretty sure it's a marshal. 25th Light Infantry. Yeah, you can see, look at this. The Austrians are able to flank the French. The French, I think it would be okay. They could juke these three out with their two. And I think they would win. They're now fighting in combat in this uh, building. They're sending in some grenadiers against the uh, Austrian grenadiers. Or the Germans, I should say. The German grenadiers, in theory. Germans versus Germans. What has it come to? Brother fighting brother. Father fighting son. And the fighting's starting over here now. It's pretty intense line battle going on between the French and the uh, and the Austrians. Got Volta Gears in the front line. That's how desperate it's getting. So a volley from the Austrians. It's not really a volley, man. That's a better volley. That's a great volley. Excellent. Our men are running, sir. And they're still holding this building here. This could be the linchpin between the two armies. Um, if it's not here, it's going to be that building. You can see the French, uh, not the French, the Germans going in for a charge on the uh, Austrians. Going to take these, try and take these guys out with their uh, chasseurs, chevals, Nassau's. I do like the Nassau's. I kind of wish they became a like a unique faction, just on its own, really. I'd love to play Nassau. Oh, this cavalry's now going to try and go for the next one. That's another thing. These Austrians, I bet, can't form square, or they're going to, or if they can, it's going to be a struggle for them. But they're going to be saved by these dragoons coming up. Now going to send in their guards, their guard to go. Here they come. These Dragoons might get caught here. Our men are running, will the Austrians sir. commit more? The Austrians will commit more. Another Dragoon unit coming in. And the Confederation Rhine will send another unit. A Hussar unit. This is going to be a vacuum for cavalry by the looks of it. Yeah, I'd say, oh, I don't know. I was about to say the Austrians are winning. Uh, not winning, are uh, uh, struggling. But they might actually win here. This Dragoon trying to chase down Calvin Corps, uh Crassies is not going to succeed. I don't know why they didn't just ch charge that. They could have supported that with infantry. Uh, both sides. Like, that comment was for. Uh, French having a rough time here, though. That cavalry here, this uh, Karasi unit, doing a lot of damage once it's routed. Guard National and... Oh, Guard National. Nothing special, though. Running, they have routed this cavalry here. Uh, this uh, artillery piece, sorry. And look at that. That was a really nice volley at the last moment. On these lines, which break instantly. Nice, that was really well timed. What did they break there? Guard National, that was nothing imp impressive. A lot of Guard National in this French army, actually. Realizing. So maybe, yeah, this is not a good sign. Guard National, uh, like, a lot on this flank here. The French actually having a rough time. They're getting forced out of uh, Essling now. After all their initial uh, success, they're starting to lose on this flank. This flank here of the Austrians doing really well, and they can't seem to set up properly to beat the Austrians in these fights here. Getting shot on multiple sides. You can see shot in the back here with this uh, line infantry. This unit here, this grenade is the line, which is still alive. They must have got so many kills. General, general dead, though. They oh, they killed an Austrian general, I think. I think they might have killed an Austrian general. I could be wrong, but I think they must have. Because there's no way, yeah, the French general's here to check. He's all the way over here. So the Austrians have lost their general, so that's going to hurt their morale even more. Like they need that doing. Um, but it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. The French starting to lose, like I said, here. They're going to have to fall back. They're going to have to give up their assault on Essling. They might have to be more defensive for a bit. Let their other side... The other side, I think, is doing quite well. It's holding the Austrians in place. And uh, they're grinding them down. I think the Austrians, over a, a long period of time, this, this line battle won't go well for them. I don't know how well they'll do against the Confederation of the Rhine, but against the French, they will not win the line battle. Did you see the uh, like the Confederation Ryan flag floating in the background? Some nice volleys there. Yeah, this, like, all this infantry is so like cheap and like huge units. Oh, that was a weird camera angle for a second. Oh, poor man, just been shot there. Barry, we will remember you. Actually, that's not a very German name. We'll call him um, 
We'll call him Carl. We'll call him Carl, that poor man. R.I.P. Carl. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the Austrians here, they're, they're giving ground, put it like that. I wouldn't say they're losing. They're giving ground. They can, I think. They think they can give ground. They've pushed up quite a lot on this side, quite extensively. French are on this side. They didn't need to run for the hills. They're getting flanked by uh, cavalry. You can see the crashes. They're going to try and, I think, cut off any sort of escape across this bridge, which is really nice. You can see there's about about six units here trying to just harry the uh, French away from the bridge as well. Confederation, the Ryan's still got healthy numbers. I mean, so do the French, to be fair. They actually have healthy numbers. There's a lot of units here. Confederation, Ryan, actually, I'm personally looking at probably has smaller, a smaller army than the French. Probably lost a lot of their cavalry in uh, like early game. Probably what made up their army. I love looking at these columns. Though. Look at the columns of infantry. All the uh, bristling bayonets. It's awesome. It really does. Look at these poor vault. Uh, these poor vault gears. They've got really good range, so they don't need to be duking out at this close range against this uh, light and uh, this line infantry because they will not win. There are like 40 guys to face over like, well, there's probably about three, 400 men firing them right now. They are not going to win this fight, however good they are. They're going to have to shoot a lot of officers and a lot of flag bearers if they want to break that morale. The men are fatigued, sir. Men are fatigued. Not a good sign. I don't know. The Austrians have a lot of areas that they can punch through. Like here, for instance, again, punch through the center. French sending forward cavalry though. Well, they're sending forward the Hussars. They're going to try and go for this artillery. They'll definitely get there in time. And the Austrians are going to reply with a charge onto the uh, French infantry, I think. And one, yeah, one into the French infantry and then one into the cavalry and probably into these Voltaire gears. They broke both of those uh, 10 pounders. That's very nice. And I say that this, uh, this French infantry doesn't care that they've just been charged. Big win there for those Hussars, I think. I think they did really well. And they snuck out of there as well. Just an assassin-like uh, execution that was. Just taking out those uh, artillery pieces. They could flank back round. Come back round. Be supported by the uh, Kalanko's, uh, Kalanko's uh, crasses that they need to be. This is the last real hope for any sort of cavalry, I think, on the uh, French side. Most of the Austrian cavalry is here, though, as well. Here we go. Looks like Kalanko's crasses can go to combat. Winded. Active. Eh, it's going to be close. It is going to be close. I think the French could do a set. Are they in square? Yeah, they are. They need to fire like point blank range to these grasses. Win the fight for their cavalry. With the support of like infantry firing to the rear, with the cavalry in the front, they could do quite a lot of damage and break a lot of this uh, Austrian cavalry and then turn the fight maybe. Maybe, uh, but not necessarily. Over on this side, French still retreat. Actually, they're trying to set up a line now. It's a pretty shoddy line, but they are setting up a line. I'm gonna. I kind of want to go back over here, see how Kalanko's Karasis are doing. They are definitely winning. Look at that, doing a really good job. A6 on the left, breaking a lot of this stuff. Uh, got more Karasis going in there. They're now outnumbered though in numbers. They're setting an infantry into combat by the looks of it, or they're just getting stuck in there. I don't know. Look at this, more Dragoons coming in. Oh my gosh, they're actually going to take on all these guys. This is insane. Cut them down for your Emperor. For your Emperor. Yeah, the French again set up in square. They're going to try and shoot these guys, I think, point blank. few volleys into the back of these uh, Austrians. Yeah, they're breaking them again here. Look at this. Another volley now right directly the here. Fatigue, They'll do sir. okay. They need to the focus wire. this unit down to the Austrians. But they're going to try and get behind them, I think, just fire into volley. Uh, and the Austrians aren't having any chance. They're routing instantly as soon as they try and go engage these guys. And look at that. They broke all the cavalry. Kalanko's Karasis have done it. 50 men left, and they managed to do it. Now they can go, and like, this is free real estate to take out all, the, take out all this infantry. I don't think the Austrians have a single bit of carry left on the side. They still have their guard corps as well. Guard to corps here for the uh, 
from Farish and Ryan. So the French now have the carry advantage, I believe. They have like a tiny bit left here, some Karassias to the Austrians. But uh, yeah, that could be interesting. Right, now the, I think, Confederation Ryan defends this rear here. The French make an aggressive push here. And they can push their way back to this uh, Confederation Ryan. That's what they've got to do. They've got to keep pushing back this way. It's going to be very intricate how they do it, but they could do it. It's a shame that most of their infantry is Guard National, though. These guys are not great. They are literally just conscripts. The old men that got left behind to fight. They need more Our of these young men. Running, men are running, though. Where's Kalanko's uh, cavalry? Still alive. And they've actually got another unit here. What's this? Hussars. Ooh, they could be in a bit of trouble, the Austrians on this flank. And they have Arty. I don't think the uh, Austrians have any Arty. Actually, I'll say the Austrians have no cavalry. They have a lot of little Dragoon units, actually. So maybe they're not out. And actually, the, uh, the HR... Not HR, the Confederation of the Rhine had more Dragoon still. So actually, there's still a fair amount of cavalry. It just it seems to keep appearing. But like that. Look at these Grenadiers. This is awesome. I do love the uh, Confederation Ryan. Nice white and green mix going on, white and red. Got some interesting colours going on. Bit of uh, like dark blue as well here. Darmstadt, Hessen and Darmstadt, that's a really nice unit. This unit, another Hessen and Darmstadt unit. Nice. Got some interesting unit units. Dead, entire unit dead. Oh dear. Well, that's not a good sign. Not quite sure what that is. But you can see the French have decided to go in for a push. This is uh, their line infantry fighting against the. Uh, this looks like the Hungarian infantry. Or at least I believe it's Hungarian. Don't know if they'll win this. They're struggling a little bit. They're wavering. So are the uh, Austrians, though. And here we go. Lots more French now coming into the fight. Yeah, just like that, they break them. Nice, really nice. Uh, just some artillery going off there. Fire, a 10 pounder still alive. Firing to the flank of the uh, French, though. And look at this. French are now just able to subdue what remains to the Austrians here. So the Austrians are not giving up. They're going to fire a few volleys. Firing down these poor citizens. They've got signed up. Our men are running. Not a good sign. French breaking here. Line infantry. This is a good line infantry as well. Oh, yeah. They can see this unit here. This unit is getting focused down in the rear. 88th E getting shot in the back. with his 10 pounder. You need to get that out of range. I mean, it's not going to be out of range anytime soon. Guard the core coming in here. Oh, that's nice. That'll right. That will route these Austrians. And now they're basically able to reunite with their uh, Austrian allies. Oh, uh, their Austrian. Their German allies. That's huge. Uh, the German allies here in a bit of trouble, though. They are running for the hills. They are trying to uh, get away from these Austrians who are just taking pot shots when they can. And they could push for this uh, general here. I don't know if he's dead, but they could push for him. Take him out. Could do with sending the French cavalry up to that flank. That's the more flank in need of it. French really pushing in the few areas there. I would get this uh, line infantry out of the uh, building. It's not doing anything there. And you need it in the front line over here, I think. I helped us just uh, fill up some of these gaps. Sir, your general has been killed. A general's been killed. Who's just been killed then? Also, oh, Chet's just been killed. What did he die to? Did he just get shot or like stabbed or something? But he just died there. Now he breaks. His unit breaks anyways. I think he's gonna was gonna go for a general uh, snipe there. That's bizarre. That's unfortunate. So both sides lost a general. Look at this. It's like a very shrine unit here. Hundred of men. Of Prince August. He's trying to hold on. It's getting flanked on all sides. They, they're like, it's been an honor to serve you, men. We all go down fighting. Look at this gun. I look at this like, position here. This is awesome. Oh, very nice. Very nice. They need to get this one out of here now. They need to get a few of these units out of here. Pull this one back. Retreat. Retreat, men. This unit needs to go. You can get this line infantry out of here easily. They might actually break that uh, German infantry. You never know. They're not taking many losses. They didn't get like, in that single volley there by the... Uh, Grenzers, they didn't actually even shoot a single one of these men down. Yeah, it's my, I think it's not a bad spot to set up. 
not a bad spot to set up. I have to pull this one back, pull it back to like this flank here. And then bring the French units back up. You could probably take these gone these guys on. The Austrians are pushing hard. They're getting they're getting a little overextended, I personally think. Yeah, get this guy, get this unit back. Don't group up like this though. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, the French are coming back. And they can set up on this right flank, deal with these guys. And the Confederation Rhine can form some sort of an L-shape. The French here can set up on this far flank. I think they want to go for this general. We've got Swarzenberg here. Oh, it's not Swarzenberg. Uh, well, it might be. This is a other unit anyway. French over here still pushing hard. They've got still got their guns. Let's just uh, a six-pounder. Put a nice holes into this uh, infantry here. More grenadiers the line over there. They cause so much of a havoc in Essling. Now they're going to cause a lot of havoc here on the front lines. Let's have a volley. Oh, poor guy just got shot. We'll tell his family that he died honorably for the Emperor. Volley! I mean, it's a terrible volley, but still. And yeah, the Austrians giving more ground. Giving more ground. It's going to be interesting. I think the Austrians have the ability to beat this French force. They need to bring up the last few units. Got uh, like a oh, no, it's just generals actually. Maybe they don't. There's a gun all the way back there. They want to bring that one up. Oh, and the uh, Confederation Ryan sending this cavalry. It's gone for the uh, cavalry charge with the uh, guard cavalry again, trying to route some of these guys. They might route this uh, German one. Where they route anymore? These guys can form square. It's like a. It's not a hollow square. It's like a dense square. It's really cool. Oh my god! Look at all the uh, morale damage on this side. They may cause a huge rout by these uh, cavalry. They're winded. Oh yeah, look at this. They're rousing so many. They're just getting in behind the lines. They might route this one as well. They need to respond to the uh, to the Austrians. They're going to send their guys up to these tiny little units of the French. Wouldn't be what I'd respond with. But it's what they're going to do. They can go the Lancers. Not really the best charge in the world. Uh, don't know what's just routing there. That might oh, that's the French. Uh, French there just breaking. Yeah, look at this guard to court. It's just gone into the back of this unit and it's just breaking now. They caused so much havoc onto their own, like onto the uh, Austrian lines. They've broken basically this entire front here. The Germans push forward. That's what they've got to do. They've just got to push forward, take these guys out. They've got some more infantry back here that really needs to get forward. Is this like leave infantry? Is that light infantry? Um, or it might be, I don't think it's life infantry. Some like, like lifeguards or something. But they need to get these couple of units forward, push forward. The Austrians here are in real trouble. Oh, it's going to be close. The Austrians again sending in more troops here. They're sending in after these uh, Confederation of the Rhine units trying to take out the um, Baden units here. They're going to do so. They're going to route these guys to support their infantry volleys. Yeah, they route two units there. A third unit. They're forming square with some of these guys. Grenadiers able to form square. That's really good. They're breaking though the Austrian cab. They've broken... All of the Austrian cav, yep, that is a good sign if you're room for the French and the Germans. They have uh, routed all that cavalry there. I mean, they still have this unit here for Chevalegas. Are Kalanko's cavalry still alive? No, I don't think so. Oh, no, they're all the way back there. They are very much alive. 50 men left. Going to be needed. Um, we've got the Hussars here as well. They're still setting up. These Hussars could just go after any of the uh, Austrian units here if they fancied a chance. Our men are running, sir. They need to be careful. Need to be careful. It's fierce fighting here. I think the French are defeated here, to be honest. I think this might be might be curtains for the French and the Germans on this flank. They did so well being so aggressive. And they looked like they were gonna take the village. And they've been forced so long like such a long way away from that village now. Well here! Look at this huge flank that they can do. Yeah, the French need to give back guard national to defend the flank. Oh, dear. Yeah, try and shunt these two guys across. Try and defend this gun now. That's what I'd say. They're going to have to swivel. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're probably going to swivel, you can see here. So the Austrians will come back defend this right flank, you imagine. And the uh, French... Oh, what's the left of the French and the Germans here should swivel defend this gun. There's actually a French unit all the way back here. What's this? There's some Swiss infantry that just returned from all the way back here. These just guys just chilling in their red uniforms. They don't even give a damn what's going on elsewhere. They might need be needed. They might be needed. Um, they're going to try and take this building, aren't they? Not a bad idea. Um, 
Either that, or they could try and take out that, in that uh, RT piece. One or the other. I mean, certainly go for this uh, this building if you can. If not, just run down this road, go down this road, and you can just take out this artillery piece. Say, what is it, a five pounder? Might be worth taking out. Still got healthy dragoons over there. I'd say that the French have the better cavalry left, but the Austrians have the numbers. Which might be enough, but there is a lot of rowing here going on. Don't think these guys will return a lot of them. And a lot of these guys on low morale as well. And they've got cavalry in behind. Look at this. They don't need to assassinate that unit with the uh, Swiss infantry. They're going to be able to get these uh, hussars here. And they're going to be able to assassinate this uh, RC piece. And it is going to be off the battlefield. That's a big win again for the French. Nice. Very nice. And that is gone. That poor artillery piece is massacred. Yep, yeah, very nice. And now... I mean, look, they're going to try and save it with Chevrolet because the oh, Hussars getting out of there a long, a long time ago. They'll probably just run for, I don't know, some some lines. May not. May just stand and we fight these guys. Building, they have sir. taken a building. That'll be the Swiss infantry. Yep, Swiss in. What's so the uh, Grenadiers are going to try and storm. Where the heck do these guys come from? They're actually going to try and storm this building of the uh, German uh, German Grenadiers. Not the worst thing though, it's a line infantry unit. They might not win that. Um like the defenders. They might get pushed out by a grenadier unit. Especially if it's a tired one. Yeah, very tired. They might lose that. Yeah, these guys are winded. Hmm, it'll be close. Keep an eye on it. Don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. French pushing hard here on the left. You see a lot of uh, low morale units, and they have the numbers. I think the center is gonna try and be defensive, maybe fall back when needs be. And with their really good, what remains of their French infantry, they're going to try and force back these Austrians. Unfortunately, a lot of the Austrians have been shot here that are retreating instead of these guys here. But they are breaking these guys. Wow, look at that. Four units break. Well, actually, no, I think these two might have already broken. Certainly another two gone. That's a big loss there for the Austrians. They can't afford to keep losing units like that. Where did that uh, and they've got more units here that are rallying. They've got um, some like line infantry that are rallying here for the... Uh, Federation of the Rhine. They might need to just let them uh, sort their morale out before they push them up. They might just break otherwise on sight. But they need to send them back in. They can threaten the uh, rear of the Austrians. Need to turn this gun as well. This gun needs to possibly think about turning soon. Actually, no. It's got an okay angle here. Yeah. Still got a nice angle into there. Um, they have actually saw that building have the uh, Grenadiers. Looks like they are going to uh, lose that one. 12 pounder, this is a 12 pounder, jeez, it's going to be putting holes into these units. I mean, it's 12 pounder if you wanted to. Running, oh, men running, uh, that's the uh, guard national on the flank, that's a shame. This, in, uh, this uh, cannon, if he wants to, could have fired all the way down this flank here and hit so many infantry. You need to keep pushing hard here with the French. Just when you think the Austrian line ends, there's more Austrians. That's like, oh, they could, like, these units here, they could flank them hard, but no, there's like another six. Units. Um, those Hussars survived. Big win there. Um, they're actually storming this with two units of uh, Austrians. And I don't think they're winning. Yeah, they send in their uh, line infantry first. This is a fresh line infantry. And the Grenadiers just kind of chilling out here, being shot at. Look at, yeah, you can't even see. Like, where are the Swiss? Are they in there? They are in there. They're in, like, the, the tier below. I don't think they're actually fighting. Or if they are, not very well. Um, over on this side, though, again, look at this. Austrian player here sort of isolating himself like, from the French. Or, like, with the French. Um, when he's not... Should be helping out his ally on this flank. His ally... Doing okay. He's uh, actually... Well, I say he's doing okay. He might be about to get routed by those goons here. But, no, he's formed squares. He's formed squares. The Austrians have uh, got some units rallying as well here. You see that the... Uh, Confederation Ryan has rallied those two units, and they're actually bringing up their cavalry as well to counter those dragoons. That might be enough, might not be. This cavalry is pretty persistent, even though it, the uh, like the units are in square, or they were in square, some of them. Yeah, they're falling about the dragoons. Smart. Don't need these dragoons in here. Just let their infantry go into combat. And they've lost that building. They lost it to the grenadiers. That's a real shame. So the Swiss infantry pushed out of there. What have we got here? We've got Hussars that were in the back line. They've just charged into the infantry there. they got the uh, Kalinkos, Karassias. They're going to go into all sorts of trouble here. Cause all sorts. 
Well, they route. They're going to route these units. Probably all of these units will probably route. Oh, it's nice. This is a good battle. Really good. Really well played by both sides. Uh, the Austrians are hanging on by their fingertips. They're having some really good success early game, uh, I think. And now they're like hanging on. Their cavalry did so well. You see, lots of units breaking here. Now that they have no cavalry, though, their infantry is starting to show in quality. And more units breaking here. They don't even need to be near the units, the cavalry. And they're just scaring them off. That infantry just in the front, cavalry behind. That's enough to scare the Austrians at the moment. And yeah, look at this. This is four units left. And these are pretty weak uh, four units. They're just going to get picked off by infantry. They can try and stay in square formation all they want. They don't need to charge them with cavalry. They'll just shoot them with infantry. Over on this side, the cavalry again charging in. Look at this big win here by the uh, Variation Rhine. Lion infantry going up. Uh, and some, uh, yeah, it looks like Lion infantry. All going up, routing these guys in here. Now the Austrians counter charge. Austrians might lose this one. Morale is looking pretty shaky. They're sending in more troops, more uh, grenadiers going in. Grenadiers going in now, that's a big win. Got Kremlin Federation, Ryan, these units that rallied. They're now causing a little bit of an issue in the rear. And that's actually causing the Austrians to fall back. I sent up these dragoons again. I really want to be careful with them. Well, you can see Austrians breaking here. These guns, they just need to fire point blank as these guys end it. These units here need to be aggressive. Push in. Look at this. This is huge, huge issues here for the French. You're going to get point blank shot here by the grenadiers. Point blank. Have a volley. They're gonna drop so good. Look at that morale you can see going down there. It's in red already. It's gonna go up for a little bit and then it'll go down just as quickly. There you go, broken. Just like that. That's what happens when you get shot on all sides with the uh, squares. And that's their entire Austrian army gone here. These units, I won't worry about right now. Destroy this Austrian army and you win the game. I mean, they're probably going to win the game anyway. I think they've got enough. I think the Austrian morale is just shattered. Um, and it's just, just not good enough. But they, yeah, it's so unfortunate. Like, late game, Austria just struggles so hard, especially if it doesn't have cavalry left. Their infantry just sucks. They just have a lot of it. Um, and yeah, I mean, they are they're still having a bit of success here. They're routing these final these units here. Um, but I mean, they've, like, those uh, German units routed so many more Austrians before they finally routed. And that, I think that's going to show. I mean, I may be wrong, and this may still change massively. If I see, like, I don't know, a chain route by the French, I'll be gobsmacked. But yeah, you can see, like, oh, look at this morale. Is it red? They're not even, like, getting healthy morale right now. These units just uh, not happy. Their frames are routing. They're concerned. Real, real issues there. And I think, yeah, the we Austrians... Oh, where's that general gone? Now. They must break. Oh, they uh, killed the Austrian general as they went after the uh, German general here. Okay. That's unfortunate for Austria that he didn't get the general. I mean, he's uh, broken the gun, though. He's broken this gun, which was actually limbering up. So that's unfortunate. I mean, luckily, they don't really need it anymore. And uh, both sides actually routed in the end. Oh, there you go. That's a happy, and end happy ending. Look at these Austrians. They're going to get sandwiched, surrounded by the Confederation Rhine. It's an encirclement that would uh, please Napoleon greatly. And this is Allied troops doing it. Not even the French doing it. The Allied troops doing it. The French have uh, just got a few last few units over here to mop up. They've actually still got a gun left. This is uh, one of their horse artillery pieces. They've uh, managed to run it all the way around here, and they're now firing into the flank of all of this. As uh, all of this. Like, Austrian infantry is trying to retreat, but really is actually advancing towards the guns, I guess. Six pounder here. It's going to fire. Where are you going to put a hole in now? I mean, into all these routing troops? How dare you? They're going to find that Grenzer unit all the way over there. Yeah, that Grenzer unit's good. Oh, it's not even Grenzer's. It's just uh, Hungarian infantry. Yeah, it breaks just like that. That's what happens with uh, artillery. You break it with... Uh, that's how you like kill units. You just break the morale. I'm just going to fast forward now, um, just because there's not very much going on. I mean, these Austrian units are about to get executed, which is a real shame. Look at these guys getting shot on the back. I kind of guess they can't form square. Look at that breaking. This one's going to go next. Grenzer infantry shot on all sides. These poor men. They didn't sign up for this. They didn't sign up for this. These uh, Hessian troops here. Shooting in the back. They're gone. 
And that's it. That's the uh, Austrian flank on this side gone. I mean, they've got very little here left. They're breaking the rest with cavalry. And uh, yeah, that looks like that's going to be the game, really, almost. I mean, they'd, all they've got to do is just go over here and break uh, like these uh, these uh, general units over here. I think there might be some uh, grenadiers or something in this uh, building here. I could be wrong, um, but I'm pretty sure that there, there, there was some grenadiers still in there. Yeah, you can see the French pushing up a lot of like, line infantry, the remaining troops here. Just going to run down uh, like any uh, infantry that are waiting in there to uh, catch them up. And so, uh, yeah, I can imagine um, that's going to be pretty much GG. I mean, it's a really good one. I personally think... Um, like, the French did really well, um, like, mid to late game, obviously. I think they did okay early game as well. I know it was, like, this big push in here, I think, really worked for the French initially, but then they overextended, and they allowed the Austrians to kill off quite a few good units. It seemed to be pushing them back, the Austrians did really well. But then I think they should have just, like, held on. They didn't need to carry on pushing, I don't think. And um, they maybe should have just pushed up to, um... And, like, this army over here really overextended, I think. Um, it really wanted to push and take Aspern. Um, when I don't think it really had the means to, and uh, but the, yeah, the French cavalry uh, on this flank just about won. It was that there's a move over here. If I can find it. I think it's about here they were fighting. Yeah, this is where all the cavalry's dead. Uh, there's a move with um, like the line infantry, uh, light infantry unit. Sorry, going into square here, firing into the flank of the cavalry. That was a really clutch move there by the uh, by the French player. Managed to breaking a lot of Austrian cavalry, which otherwise I think would have broken that single unit crasses because it's like three crassier units for the Austrians, fighting one French one. And even as good as that Austrian, uh, that French unit might have been, I don't think it would be in numbers and in time. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that French uh, infantry unit flanking, getting some nice flanking fire, doing a lot of damage to morale for the Austrians, really saved them because I think the Austrians then would have had the cavalry advantage. Could have probably routed most of this French infantry, or certainly a, a substantial amount, to then allow the Austrian infantry, even with their terrible morale and quality, to mop up what was left of the uh, French. And yeah, I think personally that's what that move there possibly might have been what decided it. Uh, in here we've got some uh, grenadiers. They've actually moved back in here, it seems. This is where they've uh, decided to um, just base up, and don't think they're in this armory anymore. I might be wrong, they might be in this armory as well, but I'm pretty sure this is the Grenadier that went in here. They might have the Grenzers in here, possibly. Um, but yeah, you can see they're just sending everything in this direction. They've got a... That's actually a German infantry that's decided to just, uh, return. It's probably going to get routed by Dragoons here. Yeah, poor Dragoons. Uh, no, poor, poor Germans. Not poor Dragoons. The dragoons are just murdering them. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, a lot of uh, rowing is about to go on. I mean, this General's actually not feeling so good, and he's uh, getting shot to pieces by... Uh, well, everything that's outside. Actually, there is more infantry. The uh, Austrians are have got some Hungarian infantry in there. And they're uh, trying to, well, take it with uh, some British. Not some British, some French. So, uh, yeah, you can see the French here. They're actually getting um, right. I don't know why I said British. It's something to be on the entire battlefield. That's just my British bias, it would be. Um, we've got line infantry here. Again, setting up. They're just going to try and probably fire some volleys. They're probably trying to break these guys. They probably could just try and, like, they got this uh, horse artillery here. And they could just put some rounds into the building. Probably break them that way. Poor artillery here, getting routed. Running back so slowly. Exhausted, jeez. Yeah, these French infantry units must be pretty bad. Oh, they're active. Winded, yeah, they're pretty health healthy. In, like, in uh, energy days, anyway. Sending in their grenadiers the line. These guys will do okay. Whether they got the numbers to win is another question. Victory, Glorious victory soon is to soon to be yours indeed. The French have just about done it. They're going to change history. They're going to win the Battle of Aspen Essling. And they're going to route the uh, general here. And imagine if they kill this general, they'd probably kill these units. Yeah, that general's gone. And now it's just the Grenadiers. And they're going. Grenadiers. Bissingen. Bissingen Grenadiers. And uh, yeah, these... Uh, these Germ Yeah, there you go. General dead. Uh, and now it's just this uh, Hungarian unit. There you go, they're taking the building. And now it's just the uh, the small job of taking this one, which, uh, I mean, I don't think it'll take too long. They can just send over the RC if they needed to bombard it. Um, but I imagine they won't do so. They still actually got rallying troops here, the Austrians. I think they have. Maybe. I don't know. The Oh, maybe just this line which is just running down the Austrians. Might be that. They're getting some easy kills, at least. Some easy kills. Now I'll just fast forward for the sake of it. And we'll just see whether we can... Uh, well, we can just find any, well, see if they end it. They might just actually end up as a draw, but I'll say the French one, because if it ends as a draw, because the time is nearly out, then um, I'd say the French have won. 
French one in my eyes anyway, even if Total War says otherwise. If Napoleon says uh, it's a draw, I lie. He, he's lying um, because the French definitely won this one. They've got a fairly decent army left as well. What they're sending in here. Going to be some fusiliers. Oh, poor guy. Just shot. Imagine being shot at this point. Not be the worst. Be the worst time to get killed now. Uh, where are those grenadiers the line? They need to get sent in. They got some grenadiers here of their own. Send these guys in. They're fresh. Yeah, I mean they might win it with just this fusilier unit. It's yeah. Look at oh no, I don't know. I was about to say they're they're winning, but no, they weren't. That's the morale of the Confederation of the Rhine. Yeah, no, they're gonna need those grenadiers. By the looks of it. Where's our artillery piece? Send it round. Yeah, here it is. Here it comes. Just put some rounds into this building again. I like how they can still shoot out of the building while they're fighting. Like, yep, don't mind me. Uh, there's a fight going on behind. Like, you carry on. I'm just going to shoot your colleagues outside. And they're like, yeah, sure. Just carry on. We don't mind. These grenadiers, though, they're going to need to be sent in, I think. Grenadier Spiegel. Send them in. Send them in. And what's it? 14 seconds yet. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna, they're going to route the unit in time. But they would, in my eyes, have the uh, French and the uh, the Confederation around. They're going to send in more line infantry. I wouldn't have done that. Send in the uh, the Grenadiers. The Grenadiers got to go. Oh, I don't know. This might be it. The morale's going down quickly. No, they won't do it. It's going to end as a draw. There you go, a draw, but I personally think the French won that one. Really well done, a very close one. Um, wasn't like down to the last few units, like very that close, close, but I don't think you ever get that sort of thing in NTW3, but it was really close. I thought it like lots of different points, the Austrians or the French could win it. But yeah, this was sent in by uh, Nero, who was uh, playing as uh, one of the um, French armies. I believe he was the French army on the, um, the right hand side attacking Essling. Um, so yeah, he had the large army by a long way. Yeah, I think he brought a lot of like guard and national and stuff like that to like bulk out his army. Um, but yeah, he did really well. Also well done to Python, to Latour, and to Val uh, Valera Nika, who are all playing as uh, like the French and their German allies. Uh, they all did really, really well. Again, like I said, could have gone either way, but they uh, just about clutched up. I think uh, what Latour did with his uh, uh, unit in square really, really saved that flank and possibly turned the battle. I think in favour of the French. Uh, also well done to Yavuz, to M3 Grand, uh, to Noob and Simwish. They all did really, really well. Nearly won it with the Austrians. And I don't often see the Austrians win on their own anyway. So they did really, really well. And uh, yeah, hats off to them. But we'll quickly have a look at some of the unit stats for uh, Nero's army. And you can see here, Grenadier's line getting really good kills. 161 kills. I think this might have been the one at the beginning of the battle. Uh, like in Essling, getting a lot of kills. Then you've got the 88th line here doing really well. 135. His uh, light infantry, 127. His crassy is doing okay, 69 kills. And there you go, all the way down there. Very well done. But there you go, guys. If you enjoyed that uh, battle, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe from you around here, and a comment to show support. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when the next NTW3 battle is out. I do upload them pretty regularly, so uh, definitely keep your eyes out for the next one. And until next time, Legionnaires, Bye for now.